us the ghost man. And when the nigga start hating, that's when the nigga lost man. Fantastic all, that's what the hoes call me. Mazuma TV back with another video. All right, guys, shout out the boxing scene for this article they had just created off of a, a Bernard Hopkins interview. And if you guys know Bernard Hopkins, he just retired. So now he's a full time promoter with Golden Boy Promotions. One of the owners, um, one of the owners of Golden Boy Promotions with Oscar De La Hoya, uh, Shane Mosley, etc. Uh, <clears throat> He, he was talking about the fight between Canelo being a Golden Boy fighter versus Chavez Jr. going down May 6th. I made several videos about it. If you guys want to check it out, then go ahead. Um, but uh, B-Hop talking some shit on here, man. There's a lot of trash talk going on. And I'm going to read you guys some quotes of what B-Hop has said. Um, they had asked him a question about how uh, Chavez Jr. and Canelo had placed a bet that winner takes all who from whoever wins the fight. But then Chavez Jr. had later on called off the bet. You know what I'm saying? So uh, B-Hop definitely saw some problems in that. And then here's some quotes that he had um, said. <clears throat> he says, they called it off. Let me tell you what happened. I don't know exactly what happened, but I got enough street smarts to know when someone runs their mouth and you lose your bet and you can't pay, then you can't come outside no more. At least not in Philly. The word got back to daddy. So <laughs> he's trying to play Chavez because, you know, he boxing royalty. You know, a lot of these guys, I feel like a lot of boxing royalty, like Hector Camacho Jr., Marvis Frazier, and Chavez Jr., guys like that, uh, don't get the respect that a guy who didn't come from boxing royalty would get. So he over here talking about the word got back to daddy, talking about Chavez Sr. Uh, <clears throat> he said, uh, you know who daddy is, right? Senior. And senior said, what? Listen, do you want to lose now or lose May 6th? Off bet. This is what happened when the dust settled. Listen, certain guys, not all, when they want to bet, there are a lot of emotions that somebody sit back and says, that's 10 grand or 50 grand. To me, from a mental strength and to have a fighter belief, you got to have psychology skills. Guess what? I would have never called that bet off. You don't call off no bet after... What you say out loud about it. No, no, you do not cut a bet off because what you give Canelo is, wait a minute, there is nothing against the rules to bet, so you can't use that excuse. How are you going to off your bet in Las Vegas? You can't do that at the table or they'll be handcuffing you and taking you upstairs. So, uh, <laughs> yo, B-Hop over here sh fucking shredding Chavez Jr. And, you know, uh, for and you know it's crazy i kind of agree with this especially when he brought up the whole philly idea when you make i mean i'm from i'm from north philly i'm from the uh i mean ain't nothing to brag about but i live in the most violent section of philadelphia fairhill feel free to look it up north philadelphia uh when people make bets out here i mean me personally i don't get involved with that street shit i mean i i am i do live in the hood but i'm not a hood person you know what i'm saying i like to stay home and i'm a school guy you know what i'm saying i'm not built like that so just watching from personal experience and seeing what happens when people don't pay up they're under the bargain in terms of bets and stuff a lot of things happen like ass beatings um you know uh cars getting fucked up uh and people getting shot people have died around my way for trying to fuck people over from bets and gambling. A lot of motherfuckers, they be shooting dice outside my house all the time. There's always a art, there's always an argument because somebody ends up saying, nah, I'm not paying because they feel like they get cheated and then the other person feel like you're uh, disrespecting them as a man and they're violating the principle so they got to show you what happens when you uh, step outside your lane. You know what I'm saying? So that's just shit that happens. So uh, he's talking about from a street perspective. And the casino analogy was definitely uh, the same. You know what I'm saying? So you can't call off a bet. Like where He's pretty much saying where is Chavez Jr.'s pride at now that he settled. And um, when he called off the bet and just didn't want to take that bet anymore. So he's pretty much saying that mentally he's already defeated. And uh, Ch uh, Canelo's already have the mental advantage going into this fight. And I could definitely see why he says that. He goes into further quotes. I'm not sure what he says here. I'll read it out loud. Let me tell you something. When you make moves like that, somebody is unsure. That is leverage big time. That doesn't mean you don't train or you don't take the fight serious. But why, 
But why give a guy like Anello another reason to be confident? When things get hard, I believe in my heart. Once a quitter, always a quitter. You know what I'm saying? And for people don't know, for people that don't know what uh, Bernard Hopkins means by being a quitter, if you watch Chavez Jr. versus the guy Fun Far, the one who ended up getting knocked out by Joe Smith Jr., who later defeated Bernard Hopkins. Uh, Chavez Jr., I think he came into that fight overweight or whatever. Uh, I think he didn't train that well, apparently, because he got very fatigued. Uh, Fanfara hit him on the chin. Uh, he t seemed to take the punch really well, but he was so fatigued that he just ended up falling over and just giving up. So he ended up getting a knockout loss in that belt. He went on to say that he thought he was winning the fight when, in actuality, he was nowhere near the lead in the fight going on. Fanfara beat his ass, whatever. So he just rolled over and he didn't want to fight anymore. He quit pretty much. So that's what B Hop sending that shot at. You know what I'm saying? He's saying that once a quitter, always a quitter. And you just quit out of that bet. So uh, Canelo has the mental advantage going into this fight. You just giving him another reason to be confident. And um, on some, on a serious note, uh, I, I personally agree with B Hop on this one. I don't really uh, uh take his side by some of the things he says um sometimes uh but i agree with him on this aspect you know what i'm saying i think that was kind of uh, a fucked up move by chavez to turn down the bet you know what i'm saying uh, when fernando vargas bet shane mosley that he'll knock him out he never backed out of the bet and when mosley ended up knocking him out guess what vargas paid his end of the bet you know he was a man of his word and paid him the money so uh it could have took a similar approach to that and if Fernando would have did that to Shane Mosley, guess what? Shane Mosley would have had another reason to be confident. You know what I'm saying? So that's just what I personally think. Uh, I definitely believe that uh, him backing out of the, the bet was a bad move. Uh, I respectfully agree with B-Hop. And I definitely think just based off of him backing out of the bet, uh, Canelo has another reason to be confident and another reason to come into the fight strong mentally and having the upper hand and the mentality uh area going into the fight this is mizuma tv let me know what y'all guys think about this subscribe